Welcome back to the channel. I'm really glad that you're here. It's a beautiful day here in the Northeast. We are now 10 days away from the official start of fall and things are changing quickly. Our wildflowers are still going strong. The bees produced a nice yield of honey this year. The sunflowers are all but dried up and we did manage to salvage some of the Indian corn. If you watched one of my earlier videos, you'll know that we had a midsummer rain that took out about half of our crop of Indian corn, but uh, we ended up with probably five or six dozen ears and it's pretty, so uh, it was a fun little experiment. Today I'm just going to go around and do a little bit of pre-fall cleanup. I've got some limbs that have come down and I'm going to use my Husqvarna chainsaw, the Kubota B2601 compact tractor with the Land Pride grapple, and of course one of my all-time favorite attachments, and that's the Woodland Mills wood chipper. So get comfortable, stick around, and join me. Hey Woodland Mills, if you're watching, know that you have almost the perfect saw carrier built right into this wood chipper. I'm sure that's not intentional, but it works really well for holding the saw. My bar is a little bit too long, so when I set the wood chipper down, the nose would hit the ground, so I have to take the saw off first. But it's pretty convenient and something you might want to consider modifying to make an actual feature of the wood chipper. I've got some low-lying branches that I'm going to cut down here and I'm going to use a step ladder although I don't like to use a ladder because the tree or the limb can sometimes fall and hit the ladder and knock you off but I'm only going up a few feet I really don't know how else to do it maybe some of you experienced woodsmen out there would know the best way to cut branches safely but uh, I'm taking all precautions I'm keeping the ladder as far away as possible looking at the limb to make sure that it drops hopefully away from the ladder and um, again I'm only using a few steps on the ladder so um, hopefully all will be good. I'm going to get my golf cart with my small dump cart and I'm going to back that in and chip directly into the cart like I've done on some of my other videos. It's really handy because you can put the chips wherever you like. Let me just interrupt for a moment to remind you that if you're joining us for the first time, I'm really glad you're here. I invite you to subscribe to the channel or if you're a returning viewer and you've not yet subscribed, I would ask you to please do so. Also click the like button and if you want to know when I'm putting out videos, Click the little bell next to subscribe and make that turn gray. I'd also love to chat with you in the comments, so please make a comment. And I really appreciate you being here, so let's get back to work.
Neutral, no brake. You know, I have to say, there's just something very therapeutic about running the wood chipper. I think it's because it's maybe somewhat, I want to say monotonous, but I guess repetitive. Uh, it's just a very fun thing to do. But you also see results. You look around and all of a sudden everything's cleaned up. And then you have this beautiful pile of chips left over that you can use for trail beds or uh, flower beds, anything. Uh, so it's just a, a sense of accomplishment, but it's also very satisfying. Let's talk a little bit about grapples. This grapple, as I've mentioned earlier and in other videos, is by far my favorite attachment for this tractor. It's the Land Pride SGC 0660, which is a 60 inch wide grapple, and I can't believe how handy it is. If you have uh, a front end loader and you have any area of slightly wooded property, you're going to use this grapple, even if it's not for, for wooded. Uh, items. It's just so darn handy. I've moved um, decking material and so many different things with it. It's just great. I know people like the uh, the forks, forklift forks. What are they called? Forks, right? I know people love to have forks on their loaders and that's something I'd like to add in the future. I don't have that, but I can tell you that the grapple is so, so handy. Now, there are several different types. I hear people who really love the uh, Wicked products. Uh, they have, to me, what I've seen is they have more teeth, they're more aggressive. The Land Pride Grapple, if anything, I'd like to have more teeth uh, to be able to pick up smaller things, you know, uh, smaller rocks and whatnot. But anyway, regardless, it is super strong. It is great. I love it. I can't say enough about it. I will tell you this though, be careful. Right now, you can't tell by this picture, but I had an accident with my grapple and my loader. I was picking up a log bigger than this one, and uh, the tractor actually picked it up. But I was turning, and I hit a dip, and I think I hit the tree stump, and I ended up racking my loader, because that grapple, once it holds on, it doesn't let go. So this big old tree was so heavy on there, and when I hit just right, I racked the loader. So I'm waiting on a KTAC claim right now. I'm glad I had the insurance because it's uh, ending up being about a $3,500, $4,000 claim. Uh, and it's just unfortunate, but I learned my lesson to just be a little bit more careful. Anyway, I'm gonna pick up this long log and I'm just gonna cut some wood off of it and you can see a little bit about how this grapple does its job. Now this log is 20 feet long and it's about 10 inches in diameter. It's pretty heavy.
So make sure when you're picking up long items like this, it's pretty obvious, but again, I messed up. Pick up from the middle, try to balance your load. Well, thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of these other videos, and I look forward to seeing you next time.